Mailer Light newsletter tutorial how to create a newsletter step by step. Hi there, you guys. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a newsletter through this platform, Mailer Light. Now, what sets Mailer Light apart from the other platforms that I've tried before is that basically you'll cr you're creating a newsletter that is focused on being sent as an email rather than as a PDF or just uh, a plain uh, yeah, plain text and photos. So the, the main goal of MailerLite is to create a newsletter that you can send automatically to your customers. They can interact with the email by, by clicking buttons that will redirect them to other pages, maybe your store or something like that. So setting up your account here on MailerLite isn't actually easy. Uh, well, at least comparing to other platforms out there, you'll have to input a lot of information about you, about your business, and then you'll have to edit your profile once you've done the registration part. You'll have to edit your profile here, basically try to input the address of your business. And then next is the approval. You can request the approval right here. It's important that you enter your um, site if you have. Now for this, I have a site. It's uh, made on Google Docs. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be pretending that I am like a business owner of a fashion brand, basically a streetwear brand, and we're gonna work our way on that, right? So yeah, once you're done creating your account, you'll be able to see this dashboard right here. Now, if, you, uh, if you're not able to complete your account, if you if you can uh, request approval because maybe you don't own a website or something, don't worry because you can still access mailer uh, some of the mailer like features like uh, uh, email campaigns, subscribe forms, landing pages, website, and automation workflows. But guys, before you're able to send emails, you'll have to uh, very you'll have to get your account approved first. You can create, but you can't send emails. So the 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 the, the most important part is to um, request approval and one way for you to do that is to secure a website or a domain from website builders like Wix, Google Sites and many more other website builders out there. But basically, let's try to start creating a newsletter by clicking this campaigns button right over here at the top. And once you've clicked that, you'll be able to see this option for you to click your or create your first email. So let's hit that. So most of us guys are not trained designers, right? So we might have great content ideas for our next email campaign, but don't always know the best way to design it. And don't worry if you are not a designer, finding the right images and typography, picking a color palette and laying out your content properly might seem daunting, but there are a few tricks that will help you succeed in creating a design strategy that work. So first, what is email design? Let's talk about this. Email design can be broken into two important components, you guys, the layout of the email campaign. Next is the visual composition. So you guys remember those things, the layout of the email campaign and the visual composition. The layout is the most important part because, you know, no matter how good your content is, no matter how amazing you have curated your blog, it doesn't really matter because once people see that your layout isn't really uh, readable, they won't stay on your website. It only takes eight to 10 seconds for people to decide if your layout is worth reading. So make sure that you make a striking, a striking layout. Okay, so it doesn't matter if your text is Pulitzer Prize worthy prose. If the layout isn't inviting and easy to read, you guys, no one will take time to engage. So, okay. Now, when thinking about your layout, consider these three design principles. Don't go too wide, make it scannable, and remember the power of three. We'll talk about the power of three once we're done setting up this first part of making a newsletter here on MailerLite. So first thing that you'll need to input is, of course, your campaign name, and this text will be used to identify the campaign in MailerLite. So what I'm going to do is new products by Black Parade. So I decided that the brand name would be Black Parade, you guys. All right. And subject. This text will be displayed in the subject field in your recipient's email chat. Okay, so it's it's an email um, chat, you guys, right? So that's why we're filling this out because it's important uh, for us to uh, type in details so that when uh, a customer or potential customer receives the email, they, ex they exactly know what the email is about. So the subject... Um, Revolutionary materials 
made to manufacture our new collection. Okay, there you go. Uh, it's important, you guys, to choose words that are striking. Big words. The bigger the words, the great, uh, the great impression that you'll make. Okay, so now let's hit on this one. Next, let's make the content. Okay. All right, so first, uh, I'll go back to the three design principles that we were talking about. Don't go too wide. It means that basically just don't go to like landscape or what. Just uh, portrait is better, like maybe A4. Now, um, Mailer Lights Editor works by dragging and dropping. So now let's try and choose a template if there is already like um, templates av available for us to choose from here on Mailer Light. Okay, so keep your email or newsletter within 600 pixels wide. So if you want a specific answer to how wide should my newsletter be, yeah, 600 pixels wide is enough. Okay, so now we have a template right here. It's actually, um, I think this is the default template that you start with. And yeah, this is the only one that we can work with. I like it because it's simple and it's straightforward. It really looks like an email um, newsletter. It doesn't have a lot of stuff on, uh, yeah, on the, on on the paper on page, and that makes it a lot easier to read, and for me, a, a lot more eye catching. Now, what you can do now is to edit all this stuff and make it your own. So it works just by dragging and dropping stuff. So as you can see, I've duplicated this one. Now. What we'll need to do is, uh, what you, what we can do is to edit all of these blocks that are already here, or if you want to add in uh, more elements, just like logo, logo, title, what else are here, logo plus content, title, subtitle, title button, text box, links, image, video, highlight, article, and stuff like that. You can basically just drag them and then just drop them down over here. You don't have to think about how long the page would be because it goes all the way continuously. Uh, if, if you keep adding on blocks, it's totally fine because um, it's not actually limited to like one page or two page. I, I don't see a clear division between pages. It's really made for uh, email, yeah, for email purposes. And it, this will look totally cool on mobile, you guys. So now let me just edit this right here and let's put our own logo. The logo is already here, but yeah, uh, no, not yet, not yet here. I haven't uploaded it. So I'm going to go with this one because it's the biggest, uh, yeah. Or wait, let me choose another one. Let's, okay, let's select this. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. I'll just have to maybe edit the image and then crop, yeah, crop it just so the branding shows up. All right. There's also a photo editor, you guys. It's really cool. And let me just uh, transform it. Click transform and then custom. So I'll have to just get this text right over here. I'll, I'll just make sure that I get them all and that all corners are exactly the same length and width. And now I hit save. And then there you go. Let's click on save still loading there you go so i think it it looks cool uh yeah not really that um hd but it's totally fine okay a catchy header comes right here so what your header would be is the most important part of your campaign so let's just maybe revolutionary revolutionary materials made to use our oh made to manufacture our products right there okay so one way to uh, help you do this you guys is to create folders that contains basically all the photos that you want to show so for this i've created like a um folder which has all the things that i want to add in my uh, web page or my newsletter yeah here it is 
And also, it's helpful to open your notepad or your Word and then create ready the text that you'll be needing to edit here. So there you go, you guys. Now, once uh, you're done setting up your um, newsletter and it's ready to uh, be sent, just click on save right over here. But don't forget to integrate your site and stuff like that. So now that's it for this video, you guys. If I missed anything out, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, basically that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.